It's 20 to 8. Let's bring in and Gary Barlow together. And yeah. look, here they are! Good morning. Whoa. How are you? Nice. Morning. Good morning, morning sir. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Well, I've got my shoulders back today. Gary, my neck. <laughs> how are you, mate? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, thank good you. Go in and sit down. Make yourself Entourage comfy. Entourage of 13. I never said that. I said nine and I got it right. You said 13. I never. I said nine. Who, I, said, who said Alan, 13? behind you, said 13. 13. 13. I know. Sorry. You should know. Well, we, th we thought James Gentles counts as two, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and I thought the bear might be inside. We thought but... Medley would be on the fire exits, doing sure. in the line of fire and all that, but yeah. he's not here, is he? They know your security. I know. Because we owe him money. Hmm. Anyway, How's it going, lads? All good. very good. How's it going with you two? Really, really good. Good. <laughs> really <laughs> stunningly great, actually. You're oh, well tanned. Yes, I live in Los Angeles. It's yeah, sunny seriously, there. Seriously, that's like... Don't you think I'm tanned? Well, you look a bit pale in comparison, mm. I've got to be honest. You've just been in Spain for All a couple right. of weeks as well. Yeah, do you know, I don't like the sun. I don't either. Don't, don't sit in the sun. Oh, well, welcome back. You've come to the you've come to the right place. It's chucking it down I here. I do play football on a Sunday morning in 100, de 100 degrees. Well, that'll do it. That'll do it. That's, mm. why, that's why I got a bit of a tan today. All right, well, look, let's get into this. Robbie Williams has written some of the best pop songs of you the last decade. You hear that, Barlow? Hey, what, what's <laughs> what's that? I'm already. I haven't finished my intro yet, right? Oh, right. Okay. Who's written this? Mm -hmm. And Gary Barlow mm -hmm. has written some of the best pop songs <laughs> yeah. of the last, over the de last decade. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. All right? I wrote the middle eight, and sure. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yeah, I did me and Mark. That's the best bit. Holding, beating, bassing, beating. For your love. It's the best bit. Two of them to write a middle eight. Yeah. Oh, stop it now. Oh. Now we know why you fell out years ago. <laughs> it's all <laughs> clear. Again. Oh, I've got so many things I want to talk to you about. So, first Excellent. of all, this is the first... Thanks for coming in to us. A pleasure. Well, this is to see you, Chris. This is the first interview you two have done together properly. Forget the Sky Sports one at the football. That doesn't count. <laughs> no. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, for what, 15 years? I think, think it is. is 95. Mm -hmm. 95? Yeah. 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 Man, that's mental. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Are you, are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you not bothered? Does it not feel weird? Does it feel weird? I'm really, I'm really, really happy. Good. Really, really happy. I'm so, I've been so excited for ages, knowing what's about to kick off. Right. And, you know, knowing what's happening with the lads and what's happening with me and Gaz. And, you know, it's, um, it's a lovely story and it's, it's magical. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm chuffed. Really chuffed. Is it? Is, do you have that feeling where, like, when you two are together, right, sitting around a piano or in the studio or just having a coffee or it's at this house where, it, does it go through your either of your heads going, why did we not do this before? Or do you feel like, well, we had to go through that to get to this point? Yeah, I think that's right. Thanks. I think, I think we did. <laughs> Very astute, Christopher. Thank you. Um, yeah, do you know what? All, all I know is... That when we are together, I, I, I don't think of where we've come from and what we've been... I think we're really, really enjoying each other at the moment. Mm. And I do feel like our work in the studio is actually just beginning. We're, we, we've got off to a great start and we're enjoying working together so much. We do it over the internet. We do it whenever we can. Right. And I think how brilliant is that? Do you think already you've worked together more in this tiny little short amount of space than you might have done in the whole of Take That? As in you two. Oh yeah, but right. you know there was there was there was a different uh, there was different rules on the cards back then. Right. You know, Gaz Gaz wanted to go off and and be you know this this massive songwriter which he is you know right. hugely talented, and I you know wanted to go off and you do the same thing. Mm. And, you know, at the time, the gel just wasn't there. You right. know, we we both wanted to do the same thing but as separate entities. And also, music is the, the first time take that was around. Music wasn't the reason we would, would work together, you know, the, when we'd work together best, it'd be on a tour or mm. it would be doing the TV shows. Or, mm. Music was never a conversation in our band. I did the music and that was it. Mm. And and to actually to have a conversation musically, it never happened. Even though we spent 24 hours a day together, we did, I don't ever remember talking about music very much with anybody. But you two, but, but you two were never friends. Like you were thrown together. I would, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say we were never. No, friends. No, no, no. But as in, uh, originally, when you met, 
you were like, okay, this is Gary, this is a fella called Mark, this is, and, and you all are nice to meet you. So mm. you were never friends at the start of Take That. You were thrown together, is what I mean. You know, we didn't go to school together or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So you have to force these, you know, friendships and feelings. And if, you know, and if anything comes in to damage it, because it's so brittle, because it doesn't have any kind of anything to sustain it. Mm. Yeah. Whereas now, you have gone through all that together and you've done all your separate things and everything and now actually I think you've got more of a connection than you probably ever had. Uh, yeah, we're a bit older, uh, you know, a bit wiser, you know, I, I think, um, you know, uh, both, uh, well, all of our egos have sort of, you know, diminished a little bit and I think, you know, what is magical is that, as Gaz said before, is we're really, really enjoying each other's company, really right. enjoying working together. And um, it, it, it just, it, 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 um, it's, it's just a nice, an, an, a nice moment in another chapter in, you know, my career at the minute. Right. Do you find that now that you're back with the lads, does it just feel completely natural, like you're going back 15 years and to whatever the good times that were then, i.e. you don't have to work at it, you don't have to force it. When you're all in the room together, the conversation, for example, just flows, the whole... Is it like that? Say no. Can I be really confident? Sure. Uh, Shoot this question down. <laughs> does it feel, me? Well, both of you. I mean, does it feel like, you know, it's just you're straight back into it? There is, there is a weird... Um, there's a weird thing that happens that I don't think... We often look around to look to see, but mm. there's a force with the five of us mm. in the room together. Um, and it is unexplainable. Um, there's obviously a big history to it. Mm. Um, but there is also a... We all come from the same place, mm. you know. And, and it is bizarre. We were a manufactured pop band mm. put together in 1990. And I think that the, the big part of the story for me is that we were together for, for those five years. We went through a lot together. We had our lives turned upside down together. Then we've all sort of separated while four mm. of us have come back. Rob, you know, it's the, it's the, the beautiful end of the mm. story, this mm. is. It's come all the way back round to where it started, except this time the music's brought us all back together. That's mm. actually been the reason. And to also answer your question, I can't get over how incredibly easy the whole process mm. is. You know, getting together and writing songs with the lads, getting together and going to a restaurant, which I don't do that often. No. I don't leave the house. <laughs> I'm the Howard Hughes of the band, but when I do, <laughs> you know, conversation's easy, writing's easy. It's just been, it's been a blessing. So let's, let's just recap so far what we've learned. The best thing about getting back together with, with Gary is that you now leave the house more than you used to. Yes. That's <laughs> <laughs> got me out the house. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Gary Barr. That's the neighbor, The neighbours in LA are going, Come look at this. Robbie's leaving the gate. Robbie's leaving the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just go, who's that? <laughs> yeah. I, I would have loved to have been flying the wall in that situation. Gary and Robbie on the phone to each other. Listen, why don't you come? I'm in LA, says Gary. Why don't you come over to the house? And Robbie goes, yeah, I mm. will. Um... I don't know how to get there because I haven't left the house for two years. I have no cab numbers. <laughs> I don't. Said, I, yeah. I actually don't know what the road is like outside. Mm, I wouldn't yeah. know whether to go left or right. Yeah, no. I just, I just gave him the link to Google Maps. <laughs> Found it by satellite. This is, this is my house. I don't know where you are. Right. Work backwards to your hotel and then find your way up to mine. I know there's a turning just before, the, and there's a pillar box, but that's mm. that's all I can tell you. All right. Well, look. Let's because uh, everyone will ask you about this forever about how you two got back together, the story of it. So let's kind of get it out of the way now, and then hopefully you don't have to answer it again. So... Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I know. But it's probably about an hour's time with someone else, yeah. yeah. You've got the rest of the day off, haven't you? I have. It's yeah. great, this. Well, you know, you know, Gary doesn't like to work for more than an hour, hour and a half a day. But that's the now. best of me, though, it's in 45 that. Minutes, 45 <laughs> minutes right? longer than me. <laughs> <laughs> Gary needs to go for a little nap after this. Does it, how long have you been awake? What time do you get up? Don't oh. even start. But you know what you're like. You'll he be, says you'll... that you sleep a lot. I'm not on two packs of painkillers today. All right. 
Jeez. Just because you've been up a mountain. <laughs> Kilimanjaro, this. By the way, by the way I, no I noticed you wait until he'd finished that before you went, let's be friends now. <laughs> let's not be four. Let's be friends now. <laughs> let's, let's see how he gets on up that mountain. Literally, so. your last foot got off that mountain, your mobile rings, you went, it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Are you he dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm ready. The big question then, well, how did we get back together? Yeah, so tell us the story, because I've heard bits and bobs and I think it's really